Hey there, guys, just getting set up still here. Give me one second. Why can I hear nothing? Why do I hear nothing? Do you hear anything? Did I do that? Give me one second here, guys. Alright, that should... F there we go. Alright, let's, let's dive into the game proper. If I can find the game proper. There it is. Let me move it over to the side here. Let me turn off this light. There's enough light from the window. And let me press any key. And we will return. Let me shut this so I don't bother my wife while she's working. Return to the fray, and then I've got some work I gotta do. This one should be a little shorter than the previous nights, because we have four, you know, powerful weapons, four more powerful weapons working now than we did before. Continue a game. All right. So again, I don't re quite recall what Wozlik does. Um, I'm a little nervous about encountering him, therefore. Um, I didn't really even notice where the rooms are. So 11, 12, and 13 are all going to be sort of similar, I think. Let's take a look at that. 11... 11's over here. That's where Wozluck is. 13's over here. So they're all... Three of the teachers are clustered here. One of them's in here somewhere. And one of them's up here. I suggest we go for the guy up here first. Ho. He might be the easiest to deal with. Then we'll try to take on Schmidt, although he may just kick the shit out of us. We'll see. And then we'll have to try and deal with these three. Hopefully by then they'll have dispersed a little. If they're wandering randomly, maybe they'll have you know, gotten other places. If we head over there first, we're really going to be in trouble because they're going to you know, be all over us. So that is my suggestion, is that we, uh, we go for the person in the, in the science wing, Ho, first. This guy's really slow. We're going to have to try and run him through. Not gotten lucky with these yet. I think you need 11 or 12 to get money, but it's like a good amount of money. It's a little bit dangerous here because we are close to Schmidt as well, who could come out of that uh, gym, but I don't think... I mean, hopefully he won't. He's got a lot of space to wander around in there. Let's call him done. Let's just leave him here. I'm going to run him to the right. And him to the right outside. We are where I think we are, are we not? Yes. <clears throat> the only reason I'm, uh, you know what, let's leave that one for now. Uh-oh. There's one of the janitors. Maybe we can deal with them first. There's still the, uh, they are still the Mark 1s, I think, at this point. We have a couple of people near to that. Okay, let's try and deal with that janitor quick. Janitor punched me. Oh, it's two janitors, damn it. I didn't realize we were dealing with two of them. Okay. One, two, three, four. Well, let's see what we can do. Not ideal. For the sake of one moving point, let's check the phone. Nope. All right, let's see where this guy is. Um, so, so we have the the two fights are happening. There's one that's right here, and there's whoops, I'm pointing. I'm pointing at the wrong. I'm pointing at my big OBS studio thing. There's one that's right here. That's where Sunisak and Doke are taking on the janitor. This is where Schiller is. Uh, our lies coming up through here. McConnell's running up through here. I guess Willette's going to join. We might we might have two battles going on separately, with four on the one janitor here and three on the one janitor over here. These guys are in far more danger. A because there's less of them. B because Ho could wander out at any time. See, because Schmidt can wander out. These guys are kind of okay. The, the, the teachers are kind of clustered down here, so as long as they don't wander up this hall, we should be okay. We'll see what happens, man. <clears throat> I'm rely on the hope that uh, our excess cool weapons will allow us to tear these guys down kind of fast-ish. That was a good hit. 14 is 7, I think we've done it. Maybe 14 is 6. I'll try and keep track of each. 14 is the left. 
Oops. That was close. I almost spun the wrong way and ended up with not enough points. So we're still at 14 and 6. <clears throat> Still fourteen to six. Set a sack. All right, so we're at 21 and 6. Ouch. Let's wait on Doke. Let's wait. Attack from there, because he can't get around him in time. Five and six. We need to do a hundred of these guys. <clears throat> He's not going to be able to get around him. But he might be able to go here so he can get around him later. No, it doesn't, yeah, maybe it matters. Damn. Oh, there's Ho, damn it. And stunned her for three turns, so she's going to be left, you know, dealing with this guy alone, and she can't react. So we're going to have to concentrate on Ho instead. Damn it. Thirty and six. If I don't get somebody over there, she's going to die for sure. I'll try maybe Connell over there at least. I don't know what to do here, to be honest, guys. He's not going to be able to lead the janitor astray, because if the janitor loses sight of him, he'll still have sight of Lai and McConnell. Lai can't run away. So I think maybe we ignore the janitor for now and send him over to help against Ho, because we can't just leave her to her fate. These guys have already done enough damage that I should... I've lost track of how much, but I should finish this guy off. I think. Alright, Amy, out. hold on. Let's let Sinisak go first. Let's let him run his one step. He's going to stun Schiller. He might bring Schiller to the south so he can point north so his back will be against the wall at least. Alright, everybody stand put. For these guys. Jesus, McConnell, hurry up. <laughs> Fuck. Not sure what that noise was. A noise. Alright, let's bring him down. Rotate him twice, so at least his back's against the wall for the janitor. At least he's hitting Ho. I think Ho might have had one defense as well, so we're lucky we're hitting him, because he was a very small individual.
All right, lie is back. Now we have a couple of options. We can try and scatter to get these teachers to stop, you know, ganging up on us. We have still a bad situation. Ho and a janitor against us is not going to go well. But then again, McConnell's almost here. He can help out. But all th well, I guess we're going to try for now. I don't know if it's a wise idea. I'll be honest with you. But we're going to try. As long as we can get that other janitor dealt with fast, we might be okay. some trouble here. We're not super far from the fray. If it comes to that, we can maybe get... I don't know. Maybe it's a bad idea. It's too late now. Probably too late now. As long as we get this guy dead fast. It does have to be fast. Ten was not enough to do it, huh? He's at least behind Ho. Damn it. He's behind the janitor. Damn it. Stunned for one turns. Didn't, uh, I'm amazed it didn't occur to me back then to, to depluralize turn. You know? Alright, that guy's dead. Kind of sucks that Amy out standing in the way to block the hall I wanted to run through, but we can still run around this way. It's not, not quite as fast, but it'll be almost as fast. Amy, uh, you blocked the way. Should we take a look at Schiller? See how he's doing. She's still okay to stick around for a bit. Good hit. One more turn, I think we're going to keep him where he is, and the next turn we'll move him around so that McConnell can get in the fray. That way, um, Schiller had a shot at his back, not that it helped. Connell. Check and see how Ho's doing. Must be getting there. It's at 50 health out of 90. Not terrible. Wait. 
run for safety very soon. With Lion Schiller kind of in danger, not in terrible danger yet, but considering there could be landmines out and about, they're in a little bit of danger. Especially if he stunned or something. Wait. Let's just wait for a second here. Let's run Lie right now. Schiller and Lie. One, two. As far as she can go. We're going to run them upstairs to get healed. Let's wait on McConnell. Wait on Willette. One, two, three, four. Wait on Cinesax. Wait till it's McConnell's turn again. We'll bring him one, two. You can attack from here. Alright, he can get around a little bit. He's not going to be able to get all the way to uh, Ho anyway, so sleeping here for the janitor. At least you got a hit on him. Better than nothing. Lie is done. McConnell's done for three turns. That sucks, because I want to get people up there, you know, around. It means we can't get that way. One, two, three, four. Let's hold on a second here. Hold on a second. Lie, keep going. One, two, three, <clears throat> four. Was there anybody up there? I forget. Was there anyone up in the, uh... There was nobody up on the second floor tonight, so we should be safe up there. Probably. Obviously, people can wander up there, but the odds are very slim that they will have done so as of yet. Okay, hold on a second. Let's figure out what we're doing here. I'm going to bring him back. Now that McConnell's paralyzed, we can at least squeeze him into this spot and keep tearing Ho down. Stunned, pardon me. You know what I meant. All right, Doke. Turning your back on the dude, but whatever. We gotta get this guy dead before he paralyzes everyone. You can't move on diagonals, by the way, in case you're wondering why I don't go into that door. Now that janitor, when it comes time for him to swing, will choose randomly among Doke, Amiot, and Willette. It doesn't like preferred Doke because his back's to him. It just randomly chooses anybody in range. So by diversifying his targets, we at least spread out the damage, you know? Let's take a look at how they're doing. Oh, he toes down at two for fuck's sakes. Amy, uh, you stay. No, you don't. Let's do. Um. Oh, we can't. We you, you, apparently you can't get out of this. Escape doesn't go. No, no way to get out of this. Once you press A, you're stuck in that attack. Apparently, that's too bad. All right, Ho's dead. That's a good thing. But it means I can't bring anybody else around to help out with the janitor this turn. So he will obviously attack the janitor. She'll continue on her way to the fountain, the closest fountain. Well, that will stay put and fight. Let's bring Schiller towards upstairs now to get healed. Wait on a second. I guess we're done with Sinusak. All right, Amiot. Wait on him, actually. Doke. Oh, it's been poisoned. She takes 11 points of damage. <laughs> I don't think she gets poisoned. She just takes damage. Now, in the 
in the current versions of the game, it would then mark that fountain as poisoned. So you remember, because it'll be poisoned the rest of the game. We can never use that fountain again safely. In this version of the game, you want to write it down. So I just wrote it down for myself to remember. That one's poisoned and will be for the rest of the game. Let's wait on McConnell. We'll let, I want you to go 8, then turn right and attack. Damn it. Wait. Alright, aim me out, up, right, attack. And Cinesac, one, two, three, turn right and attack. All right, well, you can't use this one, so one, two, use. That one's fine. might run her down a little further, because she can get there with her movement points and still use this one. Alright, that's fine. It's gotta be getting close. That janitor's dead. Let's disperse everyone around here as well to start healing. Um, let's wait on him. We'll obviously wait on him. All right, so let's sack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's try right here. That one's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, can't wait. Five. All right, next turn. Let's wait on him for a second. This is past his turn. Five. I shouldn't have done that, actually, but too late. Bring him down to one of these other fountains. Kind of mess that up, guys, but oh well. Bringing them down instead of um, someone else because McConnell moves so slowly, he might as well use the closest fountain, you know? He can't even drink from it this turn, even though he's standing right beside it. Let's leave him here, and he'll guard this way. There are, of course, other fountains around. There's also the food we could grab, but we don't need it yet. We have time, so rather than waste the food that we may need in the heat of battle, let's just uh, do it the slower way. Because <clears throat> so we get in the battle with Schmidt, who's just beyond that wall, probably. And it turns out we suddenly really need um, food to survive and get back in the battle fast. We're going to prefer that, so 
for now, this way makes sense. Oh, I fucking thought I was dealing with somebody else. I thought that was uh, a past McConnell's turn. I shouldn't have. Pressing U to use the fountain, by the way, guys. In case I didn't mention that before. Alright, Doke's fully healed. Wait on him. He'll run uh, one, two, four, five, six, seven. No, actually, I'll leave him down here. Should keep drinking. He'll keep drinking. He'll pass his turn. Keep drinking. As soon as I run down to this fountain, so that Amy out can step into this fountain. I thought I saw the word Schmidt for a second. Maybe it was just because it was his turn. Even though we can't see him, his turn popped up, you know? Five. Alright, McConnell's fully healed. Sinusac's fully healed. Amy Ott's fully healed. Whoops, I didn't mean to press N for nuke. Apparently you press N to set a nuke, by the way, guys. <laughs> Wasn't trying to do that. Let's just wait right here. 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 Alright, she's fully healed. He's fully healed. I think he just leaves we'll let. And we'll head into the we we'll either head into the gym or around this corner and see if there's anybody readily visible in the hall, in which case we'll alert them and bring them down to us to fight here. Everybody's fully healed. Everybody's 100% back to normal. We're ready for the next fight. Let's find out what we're dealing with. Don't see anything here, okay? That really came as a surprise to me. Let's gear up and get ready to go in. Let's stack up, I guess. There are two entrances to the South Gym. I do not know which entrance. Um, I think Schmidt is in the one we're pointing at. But he might be beyond the partition on the other side. Let's wait on her for a second. You can bring him in through the northern way here. Alright, we're on a new turn. Let's go in. There's Schmidt. We look at the uh, map, see exactly where that is. We just entered right. He whoops, pardon me. Point the right thing. We just entered right here. Schmidt's up in the corner of the gym, right here. Let's barrel in. He will be throwing barbells at us potentially, so I'd like him to be away from that wall. But we'll see if he. I, I don't know his. I don't know his AI well enough to know if he'll step away from the wall or if he'll automatically throw a barbell from where he is. If he is, we want to come out, let him run into the center of the room a bit, and then go in. Let's wait on him. Just leave him here, so he can't be seen to be throwing a barbell at. I also don't know if the barbell has a range. Don't know. There he came out. Okay, that's good. Let's get on him right away. Wait on him. Let's do Cinesac first because we know how to get him around easiest. One, two, 
three, four, five. As far as he can go without sacrificing his right to attack. This guy's another one who probably has a very bad defense. It probably is easier to hit than normal. Because of his uh, massive size. Oops, I pressed 5, I meant to press 4. Damn it, come on, guys. I thought I was attacking behind there, I attacked from the side. Didn't necessarily make a difference, we did hit him, but still kind of silly. We stun him or something? I didn't notice. Or maybe we're not done our turn yet. I thought for a second uh, it was the next turn, but it's not. Alright. He's going to take a while, I think, because of his massive health. Let's just take just look at how he's doing so far. He started at 250. He's down to 180. We've already done 70 damage to him. That's not terrible. 174. 172. 168. 160. 160. Way to break the trend, Schiller. 151. Ouch. Right, he's facing south, so we want to move uh, Amy out to the side here. What am I doing? We know they can't move. Might as well stay there. 146. 142. 138. I swear to God. Alright, 129. He's coming down faster than I thought. Or no, 131, pardon me. It's 
watch each person as we go by and make sure they're not like in desperate straits and we're not noticing. I didn't notice where we're at now. I didn't see what he hit for. Check right now. 122. 114. One oh two. Ninety six. We got them into the double digits, guys. It's something. Ninety two. Eighty three. 75. Sorry for the annoying countdown, guys. It's just to help me keep track here. 69. At least you get that entertaining number. 69. 60. Not as funny. 53. All right. Hold off, aim out. That's fine, actually. You stay there, Amy. I'll move Doke up, turn him right. You always want the maximum number of people behind if you can do it. Uh, I think we're down to 47, if I remember correctly. Uh, should be 41. 35. So I've aimed out to go on this turn because he passed earlier. Okay. Wait on him. Puts us down to 23. 17. Coming out of this a lot uh, less damaged than I thought we would. 12. 3. I should have swung with somebody who's already fully healed. That should be it. There we go. $50 reward. All right, so Lai needs a little bit of health. Let's bring her back out in the same hallway we were at before. Let's go into the main hall here, though, in case uh, we do see somebody coming. We kind of want to lure them in. He's 100% fine. So is he. So is he. He could use a bit. Let's bring him up to here. Oh, here comes Wazlik. So Wazlik is coming down that uh, that main hall. Um, he's somewhere in this vicinity here. We saw him go by the math rooms. So he's around here, and he would have been seen by whoever's standing here in the doorway. Um, again, I don't recall what Wazlik does. I imagine he's dangerous. He's a fucking Grim Reaper. But I just don't recall. He might be one of those ones who early on was not that powerful, and we later revamped, and that's why I'm worried about him. He might just have a scythe that, say, does two dice damage or something. I don't know. But, um, I don't know what to expect here. We got time. Get a little bit of drinking in. As long as he has some sort of range attack, he might. Oh, I ran out of movement points. 
keep these guys here in the doorway. We won't bring them out yet. Keep them tucked away. In case he does have some sort of range attack. We'll be using it on them. He's fully healed. Here comes Wazaluk. Here comes Wazaluk. Right down Wazaluk Lane. Oops. Press the wrong button. Here, she's fully healed. Let's actually bring her slightly away. We want to get him up around this corner so we don't run into more people in that main hall when the time comes, you know? I remember something about Waz like stealing souls, but I don't know what that means. Again, I don't know if that means an instant death effect or what the hell it means. So I don't know if fighting him at all is foolhardy. I just have no no idea. Alright, we can see him now. Here he comes. Whoops. Allegedly, you can see the the sight line that I'm using, whatever it is, drawing a line from say Amy out to Wazluk is sufficient that it's showing up as one. Oh, there it is. Never mind, I was wrong. All right, we can see where he is. Let's just run out and ambush him now. Let's wait, wait. I don't know what his capabilities are, but at least we're geared up for him. He only did like two dice of damage there, maybe. So, so far we're okay. So far he's not overwhelmingly powerful. Connell's the worst person to have on the corner here because he can't he can't run readily you know back and forth. If Wazlik turns in a given direction, you know, if Wazlik turns north, then we're gonna want three people arrayed beneath him. I guess Lai can move and Amyot can come down. But as a rule, you kind of want somebody slow in the center, you know, where it doesn't matter where you're, which way they're facing. So far, this is okay. Ooh, good hit, man. All he's got is a scythe, and we're okay. He's already down at 37. We should be fine. Making a short work of him. <laughs> 21, as a matter of fact. By which I mean 16. Although, reading between the lines, you know I meant 11. 
from which you can infer six. And he's dead. There we go. All right, well, we're doing okay here, man. Um, let's get the people who need to heal to heal. I guess he can't do anything right now. It's five. All right, Amy, out. let's get you back to healing. Oh. Doke, you're fine. Let's just get you out of the way for a second here. Wait. You're fine as well. Let's leave you there, Lie. Connell, you're fine. Let's leave you there. We'll let your finals leave you there. Shilly, you're fine. Let's leave you there. It's just Sinisak and uh, Amiot who need to heal. I might run one of them down the hall to, you know, check out any other phones that need to be checked. Like, Doke is a good candidate for that since he's the fastest. He also ran track and field in cross country. So these guys in the right direction, especially McConnell. It's going to take him a long time to get anywhere. We check this one yet? Find out. Check it again next turn to see if it gives us the same answer. Or if it tells you, hey, you've already checked this. I don't know, I don't know what it does. Can't remember what I've checked and what I haven't. I mean, it, if he didn't find anything yet, he's not going to find anything later. I just want to know if it gives you a different response is all. So it just tells you the same thing, at least at this stage. expected to see people there. Let's go check this phone. Oh. Alright, let's just stand here. We'll hold and we'll have a line of sight down two hallways while we wait for these other guys to catch up. Again, if we look at the kill sheet, who do we have left here? Um, the only two left are Elliot and Plant, and they started in 12 and 13. So, you know, some time ago, they were, one of them was in here, and the other one was in, where's 13? I literally don't know where 13, oh, there it is, right there. So they're across the hall from each other. Um, and we'll go and see if we can find them. So they might be wandering up and down this hall. They may have gone into other rooms around here. They may be up in this hall. They may have gone outside. It's impossible to say. They're probably not in this half of the school. We probably would run into them if they were headed this way, but we'll find out. One way to find out. Let's start searching.
you go, this plant. Again, just a tomahawk and a bow, and once again, I totally apologize for the very obvious racial insensitivity of that uh, of that character. He was, uh, just so you know, it was an outdoor ed teacher. That's, the, that's why we decided to go with that sort of a nature-loving folk. But it's still inexcusable, and I know it. Sorry. Oh, here comes Elliot too, damn it. Oh, and Elliot got the uh, the charge in, which gave him a lot of extra damage, and he stunned Doke. Doke could be in some trouble here. Let's get over there fast. I don't think Plant has a lot of health. Already down to 86. As long as Elliot just stands there punching, we're okay. As long as he can get like a charge in. I don't know if he can in this version of the game. Some versions of the game he can, some versions he probably can't. I think I may have lacked the programming skill to have him you know, do that properly. Um, let's get him completely out of here. Although, fuck. We don't want to gum up this hallway with Elliot being beside Lie either. Damn it. Maybe I should have held there for a few more minutes. He'll pull her out as well. We don't want to block off the corridor, so it's just one of them, because then we can't get enough people around him. Um, oh. Lie misses. We want him to come down just a little bit. We can get him some food. Let's turn her to face him and hope he comes down with his tongue. Matter of fact, let's do this. Although she's kind of trapped here. So it's not to engage him. Oops, I need to pass my turn with him, damn it. He fired his bow, it's just gonna suck. We gotta get him to come down. Oh, fuck, I'm pressing the wrong buttons, guys. Damn it. I passed my turn with a bunch of people. At least Elliot can't get through until Plant moves. Or he can. Apparently he can go through walls. Maybe that was Elliot's ability. Maybe he can go through walls. Unless there's a glitch there. I'm a little surprised to see that. I don't know how he did that. Really? But maybe he can. There is at least one teacher who can. I thought that teacher was Dupuis who could bash down walls. But, I don't know. I doubt he could just pass through walls like a specter. So if, he, if that wall is not damaged when he leaves it later, uh, then it was probably a glitch. On the other hand... Oh, let's leave him there for a second. That gives us the, uh, gives what we need to get around him. Oops, wrong way. Attack Plant, not Elliot. Kill one so we can concentrate on the other. Take damage from only one source. I might have gone for the wrong guy there. Plowed lie, lie stunned. She'll miss her next turn. 
If it just says stunned, as opposed to stunned for three turns, for me, it means one turn. I know there's a fountain right there. Maybe I would have even faster, but he's fast enough runner. I'm trying to run him up to the food. Thought it might be quicker, but maybe it won't be. I don't know. Stunned. Whoops, fuck, it passes tournament to press four. This goddamn lack of number pad. Too late. Stuck. I might hit the wrong guy again. Damn it! If he just punches, he can't. Uh, he can't stun us. It's the plow that stuns you, and it only does massive damage if he gets the running start. Ah, I keep going for Elliot, damn it. Mistake. Damn it, Elliot again. Bullshit. Um, yeah, I don't know what's up with those things. They used to do 6 to 36. I might even do more now. I don't know. It's been a long time since I've played the more modern games, too. I haven't played any of these games in years. But this one in particular has been more than 20 years, 100% until this time. Maybe even more than 25 years. I don't know. I probably stopped playing it after I made number two, right? What would be the point? As a general rule, right now it's curiosity to see this ancient game I made. But actually, I kind of, even though the new one, you know, number two, ah, I swung the wrong guy, even though number two introduced a lot of, you know, vast improvements, um, I kind of like these icons, like the way the graphics look here, more than I like number two, or even number three or four, to be honest, even though those upgrade to a much higher resolution and stuff. But we'll talk about that when we get to those games, and you'll see what I'm talking about. I kind of like the look of this one best out of all of them. Fourteen points to buddy. Not enough. <laughs> How is everybody doing here? Thirty five and one forty nine, got it. Go for plant. We may not find out if Elliot broke that wall because uh because we're probably killing there and he'll probably convert his square to a blood stain, you know? Which will erase the wall more than likely. If he's on a wall, or we'll race the rubble if he turned into rubble. Like I don't think we'll be able to tell either way. Probably. This off, come on. There 
we go. Only one left. I'll tell you something that... Eh, not baffles. Baffles is the wrong word. Um, and not impresses, nor... I guess surprises, or... Gives me pause for thought. That's the that's the phrase I'm looking for. Something that gives me pause for thought. Looking at this game as purely an example. Um, you know, it's, it's not the most polished thing in the world. I'm not going to lie and say it is, but you can see, I think... With the tons of different teachers, all the different abilities, the map, you know, especially given I was just learning coding in C at the time, it was like one of the first things I did. A lot of work went into this game. Like, I'm sure I worked on it full time for months. It must have been four or five months of full time labor. It's my guess. I don't know. Maybe it was less than that, but I don't remember. But months upon months of getting up and spending eight hours a day, or, or you know, four hours here and four hours there, whatever the hell it was, but hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours of, of playtesting and work. And it was never even meant for the public. This was a game I made solely so I could sit in my bedroom and play it. And I, uh, you know, in conjunction with things like Season of the Side that I showed you, it was never meant to be a commercial release, or in conjunction with DHL, which was never meant to be a commercial release. And the dozens and dozens, or, or well, not hundreds, definitely dozens of other video games I made, and board games I made, and card games I made, that were never meant for public release. Um... I've spent a lot of time in my life uh, working on things that were just for me. Um, I guess that's a def definition of a hobby, I suppose. Um, I don't know. I, 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 this game, this game, in its a in its state of you know what it was in terms of its technology, even in 1991, was probably not publishable. Um, and even if it had been, the subject matter would have precluded publishing it. Um, Especially if I didn't you know, take time to disguise what I was referencing, which was real life people and real life place. Um, but all that said, the technical know how was here to make a, a game I could have published if I'd have had the. I don't know. The, the courage is the wrong word. The self belief to say that that's a doable thing? You know, I don't know. It's kind of weird. That was a long, rambling statement, but I'm hoping you catch my meaning. A lot of effort. For something that, even even for myself, if I made it for myself to play, obviously I didn't play it for the last 20 years, so it was a lot of effort that at this point was giving me no benefit until the la until yesterday. <laughs> I haven't really been monitoring people's health, so I hope nobody's like close to death here that I'm not noticing. <laughs> Well, that's stunned for, for a turn. As soon as this teacher dies, the game will end, or the round will end, because um, we've got all the janitors and everything. Like We will have gotten everybody tonight. So it should be a good haul as well. Once everybody has a decent melee weapon, it might be time to start concentrating on rifles or straws or flamethrowers or whatnot, you know? I guess the revelation to me is nothing new, but it reinforces how little I fit into a capitalist society. It doesn't occur to me to spend my time to say, what can I do to make the most money? It occurs to me only to say, what can I do to create the thing I want to create? I guess I, I, I don't use this term in a um, self-elevating way. I use it in a term of literally what the word means. I guess I'm an artist, and that's all that I am. I guess I was a soldier too, but you know what I'm saying is I'm. I don't bring a lot else to the table but creating art, and it doesn't occur to me until recently, until Stop the Saturnians, first time I ever said, "Hey, I'm going to try and charge for, for a game I'm designing." Art for art's sake, I guess I spent my entire life in pursuit of, and I'm not entirely sure that was the wisest move at this juncture in my life, <laughs> as I reach middle age, with financially little to show for it.
He's got to be almost dead. Got to be. Ten health left. Elliot is dead. I think we had to finish the student's turn, but that was the last guy. Was soon as like, beautiful. Same thing. You're, it depends purely on how many teachers you killed, I believe. Your performance tonight was exquisite. You are the elite of elitists. I commend you. Your country salutes you. This is the kind of thing I like to see, but only go to your heads. You've proved to me that you can do it. I expect nothing less tomorrow. All right. We have some characters who yet lack missile weapons. Let's, let's start with Amiot, and let's bring him down. Let's see how much money we're dealing with. He's got 525. Like, we could get, just to see it in action, why don't we get him a chainsaw? Why don't we do it? Fuck it. Let's get him a chainsaw. Just to see it in action, man. There, he's got a chainsaw. And let's go to whoever else doesn't have something. Um, Willette does, Lie. Let's, let's go through and see who doesn't have something. Doak does. Lie does. McConnell does not. And a melee weapon doesn't mean a lot to him, but nonetheless, let's get him something. And then... Starting tomorrow night, we will start concentrating. After tomorrow night, we'll start concentrating on missile weapons and such. But for now, it's time to give him, well, nothing until he gets his joint funds going here. All right, let's get him an axe, just to mix it up a bit. All right, we're going to call it right there. Let's go into, um... Here's a night number four, Solette, who starts in the womb room. George F. in the religion office. Sergeant... Kloss and Ferroni. Um, so Solette has a big mouth. Um, <laughs> I don't remember. I think I think he can sing. I think he, he was a singing teacher, so I believe he sings a song and it can pacify you. That's what it does in modern versions. I was looking at his graphic when I say big mouth. He's also very short. You can see the graphic, so he's probably uh, got high defense, or at least at least one defense. Um, but he can sing, and it'll uh, make you pacify, which means for a few turns you won't be able to attack. I think. George F. is constantly crying. Uh, she floods the area around her. I think in the real, in the modern game, I don't know how it works, but it probably does damage to everybody around her. So we're probably going to want to avoid her until we have missile weapons. Sergeant, um, he he's a chameleon. He can blend in with the surroundings. I think he can literally turn invisible. And he also has high, really high defense. Kloss has claws. You can see all of these things were based, when we made up the monstrous characteristics, it was based on whatever random thing we could think of. Claws sounds like claws. That's why we gave her claws. I think she has three dice damage in melee. Um, Sergeant, I think, used to wear um, really interesting patterned ties and, and bad color combinations. That's why we made him a chameleon. Um, sorry to say, I think George F. used to cry. We, at the very least, we'd seen her cry several times in class or something, so that's why we were like, oh, you always make her cry all the time. So that was a singing teacher, therefore he can croon. Ferroni, I don't know why he's the mad bomber. He has bombs. He was a gym teacher. Maybe, he's, maybe he thought we'd give him a basketball and the basketball could explode. It's whatever random thing we thought of when we were drawing the cards. Um, so there you go. That guy's got um, various types of balls he can throw at you. I think the tennis ball goes the furthest, does the least damage. The basketball you know, goes less distance and does like an explosion or a two-square radius. And football is like the mid-range. I don't know. Um, he has different bombs he can sh throw there in forms of balls. Let's, um, let's go to people. Let's wield. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Well, let's wait until we have, okay. I for inventory. I pressed, I pressed W for wield. That's why I waited. Two. Enter. Let's wait until it's Amiot's turn again. Let's press I for inventory. Let's wield his chain. Wah! Let's wait until it's Amiot's turn again. I. Two. All right, there we go. We're going to quit safe right there, guys. Three nights down. We haven't lost anybody yet. Um, on the fourth night, of course, there are more... Oh, pardon me, one second. Bad timing. On the fourth night, there are more landmines out there. Any landmines that were planted last night we didn't step on, and any landmines that were planted the second night we didn't step on are still there. So they accumulate as time goes on. There's going to be more and more landmines around the school. More of the fountains will have been poisoned. Um, on top of that, I don't know. Fourth night might be nothing new. That might be it. I think it might be the fifth night. At some point, the janitors upgrade to the point where they can no longer be hurt in combat. They can only be hurt with explosions and the fire extinguishers or bs Eventually, they get upgraded to the point where they have lasers as well, so they can shoot from a long way away with a lot of damage. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't remember what else there is. 
Uh, eventually, I think all the fountains are removed from the game, or at least all of them become spontaneously poisoned or something like that. I don't know. So there's more and more uh, tribulations to face us, but right now I think it's just more landmines, more fountains have been poisoned, and just, you know, f those five new teachers. But I'm not sure. Anyways, I'll talk to you tomorrow with more gameplay from uh, various games. Uh, right now i got to get work working on Stop the Saturnians again. Uh, working on the Still working on the Steam leaderboards, which are proving trickier than anticipated. Talk to you soon.